Welcome sa sip9.com uh, In this video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on conversion no? Conversion fractions, uh, decimals, and percent no? Ang video na to ay uh, Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano pa mag-convert ng fraction to uh, decimals no? Okay, so let's have uh, Convert the following fractions following fractions to decimal. Now, may mga iba't ibang ways yan, no? Para gawin to, no? Pero ituturo ko sa inyo yung pinaka-traditional, no? Yung kung makalimutan nyo yung mga strategies, ito yung gagawin nyo. For example, number one, one-fourth. So, ang pinaka- pinaka-general general method dyan is one, you divide Divide the numerator numerator by the denominator. That is uh, method one. No? This is method one. Well, ito yung pinaka, ano, yung pinaka basic na method, no? So, dito, for example, ang numerator natin, yung, yun yung ating uh, dividend, no? Yung nasa taas, yung nasa taas, ito yung ating dividend. Dividend. Ano ibig sabihin ng dividend? Yan yung nasa loob ng division, no? Tapos ito naman yung divisor natin. So, pag nag-1 divided by 4 tayo, yung 1 yung nasa loob. Ito yung dividend natin. At ito yung divisor yung nasa taas. So, pwede ba natin i-divide yung 1 sa 4? Can it be? So, maglalagay tayo ng decimal point dito. Maglalagay din tayo ng decimal point sa taas. Magkatapat. So, 0 na yan. Hindi kasi pwede natin i-divide. Mas malaki yung 4. Tapos, mag-add tayo ng 0. So, 10 divided by 4, that's 2. No? And, 2 times 4 is uh, 8. By the way, pag nalagyan natin ng decimal point dito sa taas, Pwede na natin i-ignore yan, no? kasi ang isusulat lang naman natin is yung numbers na, or are yung numbers na ah, hindi naman natin kailangan lagyan ng decimal point kasi meron na. Okay? So, maging 2 yan. And then, we need another 0. No? This is subtraction, of course. So, of course, mag-ano pa rin tayo, no? Mag-bring down 0 tayo, 20 divided by 4 is 5. And 5 times 4 is 20. So, maging 0 na siya. Meaning, um, this is 0 0.25. Yung pinaka-equivalent ang 1 fourth sa decimals. No? Number 2. Ang pangalawang technique, ito yung unang technique, talaga magdi-divide ka, wala kang magagawa. Okay. I don't know if you can call it technique, maybe method. No? Uh, the second uh, method is to make the denominator 10, 100, or 1,000, or 10,000. Make, make the denominator, denominator power, a power of 10. So, ano yung mga powers of 10? Of course, 10, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the 4th, 10 to the 5th. Yan yung mga 10, uh, 1, 000, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and so on. A power of 10. No? So, pag siyempre, pag, for example, 2, 2 fifth, pag gagawin mong power of 10 ito, you have to multiply, no? Para hindi mabago yung value niya. Hindi pwede plus, hindi pwede minus. Kasi mababago yung value. So, ano yung multiply natin dito para magiging um, magiging power of 10 siya? I think it's obvious na 2 ang pinakamadali, di ba? So, pag nag-times 2 ka dito, magta-times 2 ka din sa taas. So, your fraction becomes 4 over 10. No? And sabi natin, pag ang denominator mo ay 10, uusod ka lang ng 1 decimal place. No? So, magiging 0 0.4 yung magiging sagot dito. Of course, pwede yung uh, pwede nating ano no, pwede nating uh, balikan yung 1. So 1/4 
ano mo multiply natin para maging 100 yung ano niya natin yung uh, denominator 25 di ba so 25 times 25 magiging 25 over 100 or pag uh, dalawang zeros yun nandito usok ka ng dalawang decimal places to the left so magiging 0.25 to okay so minsan effective do mas madali siya kaysa yung magdi-divide ka manually no? but not all the time magagawa niya yan So, later, tignan natin kung bakit hindi natin siya magagawa pa lagi. Number 3 is 2 and 1 fifth. Um, again, of course, um, pag dito, hiwalay mo na natin yung 2. Kasi kailangan naman natin i-convert yung uh, decimal. No? So, 1 fifth. You can do this manually, kagaya na ginawa ko sa 1. So, 1 divided by 5. So, magiging cannot be. So, mag maglalagay tayo ng decimal point. Then, of course, this is 0. And then, nagdag tayo ng 0. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, 10, 0. So, magiging 0.2 na to yung uh, ating, one, yung 1 fifth natin. No? So, ibig sabihin, this is uh, 2 plus yung 0.2. Kasi may 2 pa tayo dito eh. Magiging 2.2.2. Again, uh, kung napanood nyo yung previous video, syempre kung ano yung whole number mo dito, yun yung whole number mo dito. No? Okay? Number 4, 11 over uh, 5 kunwari. No? Pwede tayo mag-divide. Kung gusto nyo, yung uh, unang method natin, 11 over 5, this is 5. Ilan yun? 2 times 5 is 10. 2 and 1 fifth, which is the same as this one, which is still equal to 2.2. Kasi pareho lang naman silang 2 and 1 fifth. Okay? Or kaya, magta times 2 ka dito para siya maging uh, 10, 11 over 5 times 2 over 2, para siya maging 10, so magiging 22 over 10. O, pag may 1-0 ka dito sa divisor mo, dapat uusog ka ng 1 decimal place from the right. So, nandito tayo. Pag whole number, dito siya palagi nagagaling sa kanan ng pinaka-unit digit. So, magiging 2.2, which is the same as this one. Okay? So, sa pinaka-last example natin, makikita natin na hindi natin palaging uh, pwedeng gamitin yung gagawing 100 by multiplying something. No? For example, yung 1-3. Okay? May multiply ba kayo dito para maging 100 siya na eksakto na, uh, I mean, integer? Wala, di ba? So, pwede na natin gamitin yung pinaka-traditional uh, method natin. We divide 1 by 3. So, magiging 1 divided by 3 cannot be maglagay tayo ng decimal point. Since we cannot divide 1 by 3, we put 0. And then, uh, 10. Nagdagdag tayo ng 0. What is 10 divided by 3? That's 3. And then, 3 times 3 is 9. And then, 10. 10 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And then, 10. So, 3 times 3 is 9. So, bring down 1. So, anong napapansin nyo? Paulit-ulit yung 3, no? And hindi yan matatapos. Kasi palaging 10 yan yung, yung, ano niya, yung, yung ating uh, difference. Palaging 10. Kaya, ang 10 divided by 3 is also 3. So, ito yung nagpapakita, pinapakita natin dito that you cannot just use this strategy, yung multiplying a, the denominator by a number that will make it a power of 10. No? So, this is 0.3333. And so on. Minsan, nilalagyan natin yung 0.3 bar. Ibig sabihin ng bar na ito, yun yung nagre-repeat. No? Uh, never ending siya. Repeating decimal. Okay, that's it uh, dito sa video na to. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay sa Sipnayan. Gusto kang invite sa sipnayan.com yung ating website. And of course, sa uh, YouTube. Kung nasa YouTube kayo na nanonood, pwede kayong mag-subscribe uh, sa ating channel. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.